Thank you, Lena. As president of Evangel University, Dr. Robert Spence has demonstrated a commitment to education to his students and the community as a whole. He is the longest tenured college president in the state of Missouri, and one of the longest in the nation, having served for 35 years at Evangel University. Dr. Spence is active on multiple civic and community boards throughout the area and is a former Springfieldian of the Year. We are honored to have such a respected example of leadership and of character as our guest for commencement. And on a personal note, I'd like to thank Dr. Spence for welcoming me to Springfield three years ago. He has been a mentor and a friend, and it's always nice to know that I have another fellow graduate of my alma mater, the University of Alabama. Dr. Spence is a leader in our community, he's a friend, and he's a friend of OTC. It's my pleasure to welcome Dr. Robert Spence. Thank you very much, President Higdon, and congratulations to all of you who are members of the class of 2009. It is indeed a privilege to be a part of this very special occasion when achievement is being noted, honors are being recognized, and you as graduates are receiving the commendation from family and friends that you so richly deserve. It is indeed a privilege to participate in an event where the President is so highly respected. Unlike another institution that I read about recently, where the President had been kidnapped, those who were holding him demanded of the Board of Trustees a $100,000 ransom. The University Board of Trustees held an emergency meeting trying to determine what they should do. And after a considerable amount of deliberation, a memo was dictated to the kidnappers. The memo read, thank you very much for your recent note demanding $100,000 for the release of our president. The vital issue of your communication has been discussed among our president's cabinet, the executive committee of the board of trustees, as well as the ransom committee of the faculty. As you may know, all requests for funds must go first through the Finance Committee of the Board and then to the full Board. The Board does not meet for six weeks. If you and your co-conspirators had an opportunity to read the Carnegie Commission report on financing higher education, you would understand the dire circumstances that colleges are facing today. Our university is no exception. For your information, a copy of that very valuable report is enclosed for your reading. Despite the long hours of hard work on the part of the regents and the trustees and the administration to cut costs, we still face a sizable deficit this year. And because of our recent fiscal reverses, the Board of Trustees feels that the responsibility to balance the budget far exceeds the real and sometimes sentimental attachment that we have to our president. The various university constituents here regretfully feel that in light of the university's present circumstances, we cannot fund your group's requested amount. Now, if the fiscal picture changes, if it improves in the near future, we will be happy to review our decision. In the meantime, please extend our best wishes to our president, our warmest regards,
from the Board of Trustees, the students, the faculty, and the staff. I am so glad that you would not dismiss your president with such ease. As I look through the program and note the many different fields where you have devoted and dedicated your studies, I am reminded again of what a tremendous asset Ozarks Technical Community College is, not only to the city of Springfield, but to our entire area. Of more than 40,000 college students that make up our population, you comprise almost one-fourth of that. And unlike most of our other schools here in Springfield, the vast majority of you are employed here and you will remain here in our area as a valuable member of our community. The vast majority of you, as a result of your studies, will enhance your skills and prepare yourselves for even greater effectiveness. An example of the work that has been done and the advantages that you enjoy, last evening, 23 of you were pinned as new members of our community as RNs. All 23 with employment waiting. An example of that improvement in your circumstances, one of those that was pinned last night has been working as an LPN for approximately $12 an hour. Beginning next week, that pay will be $23 an hour. That is a tremendous improvement. For almost 20 years, OTC has been providing that kind of encouragement and meaningful direction to students. Multiplied thousands of graduates have found their way to places here in Springfield and our entire region and have made Springfield a better place in which to live. As I listened a few moments ago to Ms. Culp as she challenged us, she made reference to changes that had taken place during her matriculation at OTC. Each of you represent a unique story. For some of you, your studies began perhaps two years ago and you have been continuing in classes throughout that time. But there are others of you who began your journey in higher education a decade ago, or perhaps two, or maybe even longer. For some of you, reaching this point of achievement and recognition has been a goal that at times seemed very dim on your horizon. You're to be commended for remaining faithful, committed to fulfilling your goals. A faculty that has served so effectively, a distinguished faculty that exceeds, counting your full-time and adjuncts, more than 450 faculty have invested in your lives. And you are the recipients of that investment. But things have changed since you began your journey. Some of you, as a beginning student at OTC, had questions. It might have been many years since you had been in a formal classroom setting. And the questions that you had as you began your work might have been, will I be able to do this work? How will I fit in? Will the assignments be too difficult? Many of you have family responsibilities. A significant number of you have full-time employment, and so your questions possibly were, will I be able to balance all of those responsibilities and still maintain an adequate grade point average to reach my goals? And as you come to this night of achievement and recognition, you still have questions.